Okay guys, AMD has released even more benchmarks for their cards. And once again, before we go any farther, yes, this is released by AMD. So as always, take it with a grain of salt, all of that, but this has some very interesting information. Let's take a look. Also, I just wanna give a quick thank you to everybody who has already hit like and subscribe on my channel or any of my videos. I've been doing this for a few weeks now on YouTube and the channel's seen way more growth than I thought it would. And that's thank to you guys. Thank you so much. All right, now, um, there's a good aggregate here to look at and there's a whole bunch of information released. So what did they give us? They gave us just like a million slides. And what are they doing? They're comparing a uh, 2080 Ti, a 6800, a 3080, a 3090, 6800 XT, and a 6900 XT. In other words, they're comparing their three new 6000 series cards up against the 2080 Ti, the 3080, and the 3090. Now remember the 2080 Ti is basically a stand-in for the 3070, okay? Those performances are about equal. Now, what's so interesting? Well, look at this graph right now. Battlefield 5 at 4K, Ultra Settings, DX11, Hmm, what's going on here? Well, did you notice the 6800 is above the 3090? The 6800, not, not the 6900. The 6900 is above the 3090, like we saw, but the 6800 is also above the 3090. 6800 XT, sorry. The 6800 itself is not above a 3090, but it's dang close to a 3080. It's much more competitive with the 3080 than it is against the uh, 3070. It, it's dominating that level of performance for more money. So yeah, it should for 80 bucks more. But that is interesting. Now this does not happen in every single game, okay? So um, here's those at 1440p. So remember my video where I was like, the, four, uh, the AMD is a 1440p monster with Big Navi. Look at this, the 6800, not XT, not XT, beating the 3090 at 1440p Ultra DX11 in Battlefield 5. So this is a very specific case. But this is not the only time that this type of result is happening. Borderlands 3 uh, settings on DX12, and uh, we're at 4K resolution. The 6800 XT right there with the 3090, and it's looking like it's slightly above, although it's almost imperceptibly so. <laughs> Look at that. And the 6800, once again, is just almost on the heels of that 3080. Um, I mean, look at this. Here's your 6800 tied. This is 1440p, again, where we've seen that due to, I think, the memory, the memory structure, that infinity cache stuff, uh, the, the uh, 6000 series has an even greater advantage uh, comparatively th th rather than at 4K. Um, ah, <laughs> the 6800 is like almost imperceptibly uh, behind the 3080 with your 6800 XT, beating the 3090. So, um, yeah, this doesn't happen in every game, okay? Look, so if we scroll through here, this is not a trend that happens in every single game. But here's another case where, look at this, Forza Horizon 4 at 1440p Ultra. The 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 are all beating the 3090. Like, Noticeably so. When I said they were a 1440p monster with Big Navi, I had people saying, no, they're competing at 4K too. Yeah, they're competing at 4K too, but this is what I meant by monster at 1440. They're beating the 3090 with the 6800. How, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And again, these are released by AMD, but I don't think they'd release something that is just nonsense, right? They're not, they're not going to release something that is just completely, uh, completely out of realistic settings. Again, here we go. Uh, oh, is that repeating through them again? I don't know. The point is, we don't need to look at all of that. Now, if you look at this on average, okay, so on average, here's the aggregate of the data that we've seen so far. 
Um, so we have a, if we set the 3080 as the baseline, so call that 100%, at 1440p, the 6800, out of all of these games and tests released, again, all by AMD, so take that into account, right? We'll see what independent reviews say, but I don't think these are going to be completely out of the out of the ballpark of reality. On average, the 6800 is only 5.2% slower than the 3080. Remember, the 6800 is $579, and a 3080, if you can even find one, <laughs> and at list price, is $700, right? Okay, 5.2% slower. Wow, at 1440p. At 4K, it's more like, uh, what is that, 10.8% slower, okay? So that's where the 1440 is the more impressive comparatively to NVIDIA, but still not crazy slower at 4K. Um, yeah, the 6800 XT is a 9.3% advantage on average over the 3080. And uh, if you look at the, <laughs> here's the interesting thing. Look, the 3090 is a 7.6% lead over the 3080. The 6800 XT on average is beating the 3090 at 1440p in these tests. Not at 4K. At 4K, it's really dang close, but not beating it. So the 3090 has a 10% lead over the 3080 at 4K, and the 6800 XT only has a 4.7% lead um, over the 3080. But it's right there, like splitting the exact difference between the 3080 and 3090. And remember, there's not that big of a gap between the 3080 and the 3090. And remember, the 6800 XT costs $649. And the 3090 costs, what is it, $1,400? I didn't even pay attention because there's no way I'm buying one. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, so the, uh, yeah, anyway. And the 6900 XT, on average, both at 1440p and at 4K, is on average beating the 3090. On average, not in every game, on average and has a very healthy lead over the 3080. And remember, the 2080 Ti is the 3070 stand-in. So um, yeah, the 3070 is $80 cheaper than a 6800, but that is a big performance jump. Uh, less so at 4K, but still. Um, anyway, I'd say if you're, if you're looking for your 1440p card, it's a uh, high refresh rate. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm going the 6800. Now, I'm not saying the 3070 can't offer you great performance at, at 1440p, high refresh rate, but you get a lot more from the 6800. Just, just saying, just saying. <laughs> okay. Now, anyway, if you're buying a 6900 or something like that for 1440p, I, I hope you really, really care about high refresh rate because it is a little bit overkill, to be honest. Now, myself, I game at ultra wide 1440, so it's kind of splitting the difference between the two. So I'm actually really interested in where the ultra wide performance is going to be. But I know I'm in the like one to two percent of gamers using an ultra wide monitor, so they're not going to be throwing those out here. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you do you believe this? Is 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 this for real? Is the 6800 literally beating the 3090 at 1440p in some games? Not just one game, but but multiple like big name things. I mean, I know that these tests are by AMD. What do you guys, like, but they wouldn't release this if it wasn't close to reality, right? Because once reality sets in with independent reviews, if they're way different than this, that would be such bad marketing. I just can't see AMD just, just absolutely lying, right? 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 This is nuts. Anyway, if you made it to the end of the video, you might want to consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I don't know, man. I'm probably buying a 6800 myself. Maybe the XT. Oh man, this is hard. This is my. This is hard. I was originally gonna get a 3070, but now now look at. Oh jeez, fun times had by all. We're winning. The gamers are winning by by finally getting competition in the graphics cards market at the high end. All right. I hope you guys have an excellent day.